Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Lucia B. And in today's video, I'm showing you what I received in my first two BoxyCharm. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a subscription service. I think that it costs like $23 or something like that. I pay about $26 since I do live overseas um, due to the extra shipping and handling. But you do receive five full-size items each month. And the products come from well-known brands and also some indie brands. And so far, like I said, I'm just like really happy with what I have received so far. I've gotten my first two boxes, the December and the January box. So I'm going to share with you guys what I have received so far. So this one is the December box. And I've kind of already taken some of the products out of their packaging. In my December box, I did actually receive six items instead of five because there was a special code that you can use to get an extra item. So in the box, there is the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales Robin Hood palette. And this palette retails for $35. I think that it's pretty cute. It has like this is like story box type of packaging to it. And these are the shades that I receive. When you first sign up for Bossy Charm, you do take a quiz and it asks you different questions about like what you like, you prefer makeup over skincare, what your favorite shades are for eyeshadow, lipstick, mascara, eyeliner, things of that nature. So from the quiz that I took, this is the palette that they sent me based on my answers. And I really love the colors in this palette, especially the gold and the green shades. So I will be doing a look with this palette very soon. They also sent the LMEs Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. This facial oil retails for $79. I have already used this oil a couple of times and I do like the way that it feels on my face. I will say that it does have like a strong rose like floral scent but it definitely goes away once the oil is absorbed into your skin. I do like the fact that I can use it and I don't need to use a moisturizer over it so I'm loving this product like I'm really into skincare right now so I'm really loving this facial oil. The next product in the December box that I received is the Chiate Marble Light Illuminating Blusher. I actually don't use blush all that often, but I do feel like this is a pretty like shade and I like the fact that it has like the light and the darker um, shades in there. So next time I do my makeup, I'm definitely going to be trying out this blush to see how well it matches with my skin tone. And I think I already said it, but that product is $26. Next in the box is the Aesthetica Brush Cleanser and Conditioner. And this product retails for $12. This one, I'm really interested to test it out compared to my solid bar cleanser that I have from the Juno & Co. I feel like my Juno & Co cleanser works very well and I actually haven't used like a gel or like liquid type of brush cleaner in a while so I'm going to be doing a comparison video on these on those two products and then the last product that was actually a part of the December box is the brow bar brow makeover kit and this retails for $30 I have to say that I feel like they did a pretty good job with matching this brow makeover kit with my skin tone. You do get to, you know, show or choose which skin tone you have when you do your quiz when you first sign up. So I feel like they did a really good job with matching this to my skin tone and I will definitely be giving this a try the next time I do my makeup. The extra product that I got is the Tarte Be You Naturally eyeshadow palette. I'm not exactly sure how much this product retails for, but I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. This is what it looks like outside of the package. I feel like this packaging is really pretty. I'm honestly not the biggest Tarte fan. However, I do think that this palette is pretty and I love the big old mirror that comes with it. I'm not exactly sure how these lighter shades will work on my skin tone. I feel like it will be just way too light. So I'm probably just going to be having to stick with these neutral tones on this side of the palette and maybe use some of the um, shimmery shades as like a highlight or something. So the total value of my December Bossy Charm box is $218. For me to only spend $26 and to get over $200 worth of product, I think that that's worth it, especially because I can see myself using every product that I was sent in this box. Now moving on to my January Bossy Charm box. I received five items in this box. The first being the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer, which retails for $25. And the shade that they sent me is shade 65, and it is called Shady Lady. I like that name. That's really funny to me. 
Um, I'm interested to see how well this matches me. I'm not going to put it on my face right now because I'm about to head to the gym in a second. But if, from looking at it in the container, it looks like it should be a pretty good concealer match for me. The next product they sent is a Dr. Brandt Skincare 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream, which has a retail value of $55. Not too long ago, I posted in my Instagram stories about another Dr. Brandt Skincare product. The next product in the box is a Dr. Brandt Skincare 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream, which has a retail value of $55. I've been loving Dr. Brandt Skincare lately, and actually not too long ago, I posted about another Dr. Brandt product that I've been using in my Instagram stories, so I definitely encourage you to go check that out. I have started using this eye cream. I haven't seen any changes for real just yet, but I do like that when I apply it, there's like these kind of like shimmer that uh, it just adds to like my eye area and it kind of just illuminates my eyes and really takes away from the slight dark circles that I have. Next up is a Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. This is an exfoliating cream and it retails for $28. I haven't used this exfoliant yet, but I will use it soon. I think I'm going to do a skincare video with all BoxyCharm skincare products that I've been sent. So make sure that you stay on the lookout for that. I also sent the Avant Skincare 8 Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask and this product retails for $107. It says on the um, container that this product contains Shea Butter, Rice Bran, and Panthenol. Why it costs $107, I'm not exactly sure because this is such a small container. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on this product to try to figure out why it costs so much. Um, but yeah, I have really been loving um, sleeping masks, especially the ones from Laneige. So I will be giving this a try in the BoxyCharm skincare video. Last, I was sent the Queen Studio Matte Liquid Lip Stain and they sent me the shade Thick Skin. This is kind of like a pinky nude type of color. And I'm definitely going to need a lip liner when using this product. I do like this shade though, but I feel like once I pair it with a lip liner, it will look really good. And I think I said it already, but this product retails for $17. So in total, my second Bossy Charm is worth $232. If I combine that with the value of the first box, I've already gotten products that have a value of $450. That's a lot of money. Like it's crazy when you think about how much money we spend on makeup and skincare. Like it's insane. So, so far I have to say that I am loving my BoxyCharm boxes. I can't wait for February's box. And once I get that box, I'll be sure to share it with you all. If you have a BoxyCharm subscription, let me know down in the comment section and let me know what your favorite product that you received so far is. And other than that, you guys, if you are enjoying these types of videos that are just a little different from the norm, then let me know that by giving this video a big old thumbs up. And with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait to play around with these products and to create content and to show you guys how well they work for me or how well they don't work for me. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you in the next one and do not forget to stay dazzling. All right, I got to get this off my lips because I'm looking a little crazy without a lip liner.